this course is the second semester in a sequence. And so I'm going to operate under the assumption that you already have at least some familiarity with certain materials. In particular, college algebra is a prerequisite for this course, and I will teach this course under that assumption. I'll often skip over basic algebraic steps at the end of problems during class for you to fill in later. For example, I will go from 9x plus 3y equals 6 to y equals minus 3x plus 2 and expect you to be able to, to fill in the algebraic steps in between. If the step is particularly tricky, I will review it and you are welcome to ask any of the TAs via private chat during uh, class or using the help forum or during one of the help sessions on Zoom. If you'd like a little practice drill on algebra, there's a set of problems uh, on Moodle and their solutions from matthewc.com. And this is a great drill. If you need review on a particular topic, Khan Academy is of course always a great place to start. And myself and any of the TAs will also be happy to help you during help sessions or via the help forum. Like I already said, Physics 131 is a prerequisite for this course, and we will build on some of those ideas. In particular, we'll be using the ideas of forces and Newton's laws, energy, both potential and kinetic, and some of the mathematical tools like symbolic manipulation and vectors. My free Physics 131 textbook is linked from Moodle under the folder, what will we learn in this class? Matthew should know 3D models and other useful stuff, which is right at the top of each Moodle page. And we will review some of these ideas in your homework as we go. Finally, I recognize that none of you are physics majors. As you can see from this graph, the overwhelming majority of you are in the life sciences. Yet I want this course to be useful to you. As such, we will often be exploring how physics can be applied to biology and chemistry concepts that you've already seen. I want you to bring your expertise in these subjects, which is undoubtedly better than mine, to class. So if you have some additional biological or chemical insight that you think would enrich the class, please do share it either in the synchronous class sessions or on the help forum. 